Virtual branches allow you to segregate your database by restricting the users inside each virtual branch to only see records that are created by other users in that virtual branch. Virtual branches can be used to partition off your database for a number of scenarios such as state by state, office by office or even broker by broker. And it's a good way to keep your client data separated on a per broker basis or on a per office basis. The easiest way to understand virtual branches is to use the farm analogy. In this diagram, the large square represents our head office or our farm. Each of the smaller squares represents a paddock within that farm. If you put brokers or admin users into one of these paddocks or virtual branches, they can't see out at all. They can't see the head office and they can't see other virtual branches. Their client data, the people and opportunities, can only be viewed by other users in that virtual branch or by the head office. At any stage, the head office can drop into these virtual branches to see what a virtual branch user would see. In Mercury, that looks like this tab over here. So this, well now we're in the head office, as you can see by the fact that we can go into virtual branches. If I choose a virtual branch here, we'll go to the CRM and we'll notice that there's only five people in the Three Little Pigs Lending. If I change this now to this Acme Home Loans, which is our head office, we'll see there's over a thousand. And if we change it to all branches, we'll see that there's now a combination of the Three Little Pigs and the head office, Acme Homelands. Essentially, virtual branches get their own version of Mercury, and they can hold their own document templates, client data, opportunity data inside their virtual branch. It's important to note that there are some restrictions on the amount of customization a virtual branch user can do to Mercury. A lot of the customizations have to happen at a head office level. For example, the statuses that an opportunity can go through is controlled by the head office and that needs to apply to all virtual branches. One of the benefits of virtual branches is the ability to report on only the activity of a virtual branch. So if I select this virtual branch and refresh the data, if there was data in there, you'd see a snapshot of only the Three Little Pigs settlement report. You can also see all branches and Acme Home Loans. Virtual branches do work slightly differently with Apply Online. Each virtual branch needs a loan writer inside it, otherwise users in that virtual branch have no way of submitting applications to lenders. It's best to have a look at the wiki article which explains the differences between how Apply Online works with virtual branches and without. In summary, users in the head office can see each other's applications in Apply Online. When you're in a virtual branch, you can only see your own applications and apply online. So if you have an admin user working on your apply online applications, if you're in a virtual branch, the admin user has to access apply online through the opportunity itself. They can't log into their own apply online and see your applications. To set up a virtual branch, we'll run through that quickly here. You go to the admin tab, partner details, Manage Virtual Branches. It's just as simple as clicking here to add a new virtual branch and then give the virtual branch a name. As a demo, we'll show you how to move users in and out of this existing virtual branch. So on the right here, we see all of the users that don't belong to a virtual branch yet. These are users in the head office. If you'd like to put them in a virtual branch, it's as simple as dragging them across. And Daffy Duck and Porky Pig now exist in the Three Little Pigs virtual branch. When they log into Mercury, they won't see this drop down box here. It'll be completely gone. And when they go to the CRM, they will only see the the people and opportunities in the Three Little Pigs. So at the moment there's no opportunities and only five people. 
To take people out of a virtual branch, it's the exact same thing. Select the virtual branch and drag them back into available users and Porky Pig is no longer in the virtual branch. Another quick thing to know is how to transfer people and opportunities between virtual branches. A lot of the time, if there are two loan writers, they might have the same admin person helping them with loans. The admin person would exist at the head office level and they can easily drop into each virtual branch by using this drop down. The admin person then has the ability to transfer people and opportunities between the virtual branches. If you transfer an opportunity, it will automatically bring the people over. So it's probably best to do that if you're looking to transfer opportunities. As an example, we'll send this one here over to Three Little Pigs. And it's as simple as clicking Move to Branch, select the virtual branch, click OK. And now when we go to Three Little Pigs, we'll see we have one extra opportunity in there that we didn't have before. So essentially what we did there is we moved an opportunity from the head office into a virtual branch. You can also move opportunities from virtual branch to virtual branch if you are a head office user. And bear in mind that the head office does dictate a lot of the Mercury customizations. If you have any questions about virtual branches, don't hesitate to contact the help desk. It can be confusing at times, but we're happy to run through it with you.